Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. We've got 2022 Tops Series 1 First Edition boxes for you today. I don't know if you've heard much about these, but this was a 582 Montgomery Club release. And at the height of Wandermania, these are now selling for around $1,000 a box on eBay. I looked at recently sold. They're going for, from anywhere between like $950-ish dollars over a couple over a thousand after tax you're going to pay about a thousand dollars for a box of these which is pretty insane um, luckily keith and scott were able to pay much less than that as they are our sponsors for this video good luck to both of them we'll tell you a little bit about this set and uh, we'll start with keith over here on the right hand side now this set is basically it is the series one set just with first edition Little icons in the bottom, I think it's the bottom right corner. There's also a chance at parallels and limited chances of autographs. I think the autograph odds are one in every 149 packs. Now with 24 packs per box, our chances of finding an autograph in this video are slim, but you never know, we could find it. All right, so here we go, Keith. Now I'm thinking the same thing that you are. Maybe Keith is thinking as well. By the way, here's the odds. You can see that um, the baseball stars autograph is uh, 1 in 149, I guess. Pa um, they have parallels there, 1 in 620. And then there's also some base parallels as well. You're probably wondering, what the heck is a Wander Franco worth in this? And I don't know if the collation is going to be the same. There's a nice Gavin Sheets. And as you see, the first edition logo in the bottom right-hand corner, that's really the only difference between these cards and like a hobby box of it. And also, you're not going to get a, a hit in here more than likely but you might there's our parallel it's a tom murphy gold foil card first edition and aaron judge is the last one in pack number one so about wander i had i was thinking all right so if this box is going for a thousand dollars now what's that wander going for because surely that's really got to be fueling it and i now this just started to get into people's hands today and maybe some folks got it yesterday but uh, there's not too many sold listings on eBay. There's a, there's a handful, though. And uh, it's selling for $189 about. So about $180-ish for the Wander. It just doesn't really add up for me to pay this much for, uh, you know, for, there's Wander right there. Nice one. We'll get that one sleeved up for you, Keith. I'll show you a Tony first edition. Uh, another thing driving the price of this up is the rarity of this. There's a nice green Atlanta Braves green team card there. It is numbered out of just 150. So there's a there's a scarcity to this. You can only get this if you're a 582 Montgomery Club member. And yes, indeed, it does cost a good bit to become a member. There's Vidal Bruhan still looking for Wander. It's $600 if you want to purchase yourself a new membership for the Montgomery Club. We've got a black border G-Man Choi, so you will see there are, you know, there are some good shots of parallels in here already. <laughs> this is a hobby box of regular tops. Probably wouldn't have a single parallel in it with the super high print runs, but we're getting one in almost every pack, it seems. Here comes another. It is Austin Meadows. It is numbered out of 75. Nice orange right there. So, I mean, if we can find a wander, that's where the value is going to be in this. That's why this is being jacked up. The base wander, not paralleled, is um, about 180 bucks. And like I was saying, um, $600 for membership to the Montgomery Club might be worth it. We have a Travis Darno. That one's numbered out of 50, a red. Lots of lots of parallels. Because this box here, if you bought it directly from Tops with your 582 Montgomery Club, I think it was, was it $350 for a box of these? After the tax and shipping, almost $400. And they're selling for $1,000. Oh, there's Zimmerman. No Corbin Burns after him this time. The collation must be a bit different. We have a Josiah Gray. That one's just a regular gold foil, which will not have numbers on the back. I really hope we can find at least one wander even if it's a base card that'll be something there's Lars Newtbar first Bowman first uh sorry first tops I get used to saying first Bowman because Bowman does this a lot as you know in recent years they've been doing the first edition Bowman cards I think it's been a little while since tops has broken out the first edition tops base I think it may have, may have been since 2014 or something like that so it's been some time but uh 
You know, Tops, they are taking full advantage of Wander Mania. And for the life of me, I can't understand why prices are still so high for this product with the uh, super high print runs. But it is what it is, I guess. I'm hoping that uh, soon retail can get caught up with the demand and you'll start to see a lot of 2022 on your shelves. I know a lot of you have said that you've had no luck finding this product in blaster box, hanger box, or any form. There's a Mike Trout first edition. Got to sleeve that one up because it's Trout. Mike Moustakis right there. We've got another parallel. It's Colin Moran. No longer on the Pirates. They uh, they designated him for assignment for whatever reason. I guess they thought Yoshi Sutsugo was a better option at first base. I'm sure a lot of it has to do with they didn't want to pay Moran his uh, you know his increased salary. Tim Anderson, nice one right there. Still looking for the Wander. There's a John Lester Green numbered out of 150. This would be a fun product to do a Saturday showdown at, like a high stake Saturday showdown. Everyone gets a one pack spot, and then uh, the lowest number card takes home a thousand dollar box. I guess I'll have to go on eBay and buy some more of these. That would be a fun one, don't you think? There is JT Rail Muto Green numbered out of 150. The best showdowns, and if you're new to the channel, a showdown is basically a box war where the lowest numbered card gets all of the cards. So if there's 24 people that bought into this box, basically you take the price of the box, $1,000, cut it up 24 ways. Oh, there he is, Wander Franco. We got him. First edition Wander. And since, uh, since it was the very top card of the pack on the corner edge of the box, top pack, top card, that, that bottom left corner doesn't look all that nice to me. That is a $180 card with the slight ding corner from being the top card in the top corner of the box. Probably a bit less than that. So now we have to hope that Keith can find a Wander Parallel. Let's see if he can. That, I, that would be nice if we could find the Wander Parallel. There's a Vlad Jr. on the back. We'll get to him in just one second. There's Bo Bichette. We've got the leaders card there, and there's Vlad Jr., one of my favorites, as you know by now. Next, we've got Christian Walker on the back. Alex Kirilov, Patrick Wisdom Gold Cup card. And there's Kurt Suzuki. That's probably going to be numbered out of 75. So oh, another thing, only 10 cards per pack, so these boxes... You get 240 total cards in a box of this as opposed to what's it in a hobby like 340 or something like that so less cards but uh way way more parallels as we continue to look for a wander parallel there's an eduardo escobar out of 150 austin hedges two more left for you here keith let's see what we can do austin riley's on the back there's brandon marsh he's another good one in this class and gold for Willie Castro, which is not numbered. Austin Riley, final one there. Got some MVP MVP votes this year. Talked about it a little bit last night in the pen box video. How do you guys feel about the uh, the whole lockout situation? Games are now being lost. They canceled the first two series of the year, which is about the first week of the season, now gone. Eli Morgan rookie card, orange out of 75. I'm not happy about it. I'm uh, pretty mad. Luckily... Me, personally, I don't have any extra skin in the game like tickets. I know a lot of you guys probably had opening day tickets. You went out of your way to make plans, get tickets, uh, talk to your loved ones, arrange for you guys all to be there for opening day, and now that game's just completely canceled. You'll get your money back, I would assume. That's out of 150 on the John Ahim, but that just is uh, really, really stinks. And I always, uh, I always hate, I hated back in 95 and 94 that baseball seasons were cut short and the stats weren't quite right. Like, for example, Matt Williams with his, what, 43 home runs in 94. What would have that have been? The 1995 stats, like, they were skewed as well because they had, they played 144, so they played almost 20 less games. There's a Garrett Hampson out of 150. Me personally... I don't think they're going to play for a month. I think we're going to probably lose a whole month of the season at this point. We've had other folks on the channel. Timmy T Time, for example. Shout out to you, Timmy. He doesn't think they're going to play at all this year. Just seems like they're kind of close, and there's got to be a way to get together. And for the good of the game, that's out of 50 of Isiel Garcia. I don't know, by the way, what the, what the lead card is to Wander since he was leading off the top of the pack. 
it's always nice to know when he's coming up. As with Series 1, the base paper, you always know because you see Ryan Zimmerman and then you see the Corby, Corbin Burns, out of 150 right there. Two more packs left for Keith. Let's see, we've got Andre Jackson on the top there. There's Jared Kelnick. He's one of the good ones in the update series. You can get a, a hobby box of update for 60 to 70 bucks nowadays, which is pretty crazy. A hobby box of update. Out of 10, Emmanuel Rivera, that's our lowest numbered card so far. Imagine if that was a wander, then that would be definitely worth the price of the box. I'm hoping that the paper, the, uh, the paper product comes down in price. Jaron Duran, a nice rookie right there. We'll get that one sleeved up. I think that the prices of this product, not the first edition, but uh, tops and base in general. Look at this. We have an autograph of Aroldis Chapman. Some last pack magic for Keith. So, Keith, that was kind of a real bummer about the Wander Franca having the bum corner being the top pack of the uh, the corner there. Top card, top pack. But it gets made up for a little bit here with a, an Aroldis Chapman out of 50. First edition autograph so well, i didn't even i didn't think that was going to happen but it did one in uh what was it 149 packs or something like that and keith with the big hit there so congrats man now i don't know if you're going to get your thousand dollars back well keith you paid a lot less than that uh but if you bought a box of these and that was your box i don't know if you'd get your thousand dollars back if um, that was your, your typical box you really need to hit a wander parallel for you to get your money back now, you did see a lot of parallels in there, so there is a chance that you could find it. But it's not a great chance if you figure there's, what is there, 330 cards in the set. Let's just call it 24 parallels per box or so because there's roughly, it seems like there's roughly one per pack on average. So your chance of finding a wander is, uh, you know, mathematicians out there, you're going to have to help me out. 24 out of 330. It is less than uh, less than ten percent. All right, Scott. I'm just doing a super rip for you. We'll do this entire stack and hope there's a wander in there, and then we'll move on to the next stack and right on down the line. By the way, if you're new here, I would I would hope and appreciate it if you would hit that thumbs up button, also that subscribe button, so you don't miss a single video. We post every single day, and we go live as well. Uh, usually about two times a week, we'll have an auction coming up for you tomorrow night. We'll have some slabs, we'll have some autos, we'll have some rookies. There's a Corey Kluber first. That's out of 75. We'll get all your parallels all sleeved up here for you. All right, Scott, looking for Wander. Some of these you've probably already seen from the first box. There's a Jorge Mateo Green out of 150. Sammy Long. Nice Aaron Judge. Second time seeing that Judge first edition in here. Paul Moran once again. Now we have an Alcides Escobar orange numbered out of 75. There's Vidal Brujan for the second time. Uh, luckily, I have two accounts. One for me, one for Heather. So the limit was one per account. That's out of 75. So I had Heather grab me a box. I got a box. And let's see what else we can do. By the way, they fixed Yastrzemski's name from the, uh, the Series 1 screw up there. There's Jaron Duran. That's not a bad one out of... 150 so you get one of the top rookies in this in a green not too shabby and here comes an orange it's an austin hedges red out of 50 louise heel is the last one so scott we'll go on to the next stack here and hopefully your wander if he's in here is going to be somewhere in the middle of this and not floating on the top what happened in the last one, that top pack had the Wander on the very top. Literally the worst spot that he could possibly be. The boxes, if you're wondering how they were shipped, they, I don't know. They weren't all that secure. They were shipped in a little box like this. This is literally the, the box that they used to ship it in. And uh, just had some little paper in there. A little bit of... Uh, paper not even bubble wrap so definitely the boxes move around a bit in shipment which kind of stinks but most of the cards are in good shape all right scott here we go with our next stack for you by the way i think we'll have the new uh i think tomorrow there's corbin burns always want wanted to follow, follow him up we've got a Luis robert though which is not bad out of 75 as you know he's one of my favorites i'm real big on Luis robert but tomorrow I'm thinking about a subscription box, bringing that to you. Maybe in lieu of a uh, 
Throwback Thursday, I'm thinking of maybe either doing the boom box or doing the dugout box or doing the tops box, the top subscription box for the month of February. I think they're still a month behind, if I'm not mistaken. I'm guessing the featured box this month in tops, um, top subscription box, the Future Stars Club. There's a nice Juan Soto. I'm sleeping Soto. He's uh, really one of my top favorite players. I'm thinking it's going to be, I'm hoping it's going to be a Series 1 blaster box this month, but we shall see. Wouldn't that be terrible if they tricked us and gave us like a gallery or something like that? That's out of 150, Brady Singer. Harrison Bader, not numbered. Just a gold foil. Hoping this is Wander. It's not. It's Freddie Galvis. And a San Diego Padres. The Galvis is out of 10. Really good number on the back of that. And the Padres team card is out of 25. One of 25. So some nice low numbered cards. Still no Wander yet. We've got two stacks left to find them. Let's see if we can do it right now. Good luck to you, Scott. I think our next live stream beyond the auction, probably the Saturday show, and also toying with the idea of maybe doing a mixer break again on maybe Friday night. We'll see. All of our breaks are put on sale on Patreon. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, there's a link in the description to this video. Or you can just Google Join Jab's Family Patreon. It's $4.99 per month, and higher tiers get monthly packs and boxes sent to them. This month, the $99 tier will get two blasters of the brand new 2022 Top Series 1. Let's see what else we can find. We also have a channel membership as well for $4.99 if you'd like to get free cards in the members only time portion of our auction. Victor Reyes out of $150. We got a red coming up. It's a Brian De La Cruz rookie card. That one's out of 50 as well. Another green out of 150. Come on, Wander. We haven't found the Wander base in this box yet, by the way. There is a good shot of finding the Wander base. I mean, there's 240 cards in here, so running out of time to find it here, Scott. And I don't know what the lead card is into it since he was on the first uh, pack in that other box. There's a Gio Urshela and Zach Lothar first. So we're down to our last stack. Again, thanks for being here, everybody. Hopefully we have baseball soon or good news about the, uh, the bargaining agreement. Spring training should just be getting into full swing right now with games and everything, but then the fields are empty. Almost makes me want to start uh, playing ball again, making some videos for you, rounding up some, some friends and family and playing some games just so we can have some baseball. It's starting to become nice out. It's like, uh, hit, well, I think almost 60 degrees yesterday, almost 60 degrees again today here in the uh, on the East Coast. But anyway, here's our last stack. There's a Vladdy looking for Wander. Last chance for Wander. There's Tony Kemp, Stuart Fairchild, Ty France, Luis Heal. So far, nothing to write home about in this stack. Another parallel but it's one of those golds there's Zimmerman he doesn't give way to wander and we're just getting all these golds and they're unnumbered which is not as fun as the numbered color parallels kind of a, a ho-hum last stack here maybe we'll have some last pack magic here we go we're getting into it the last parallel card of this box and this video is it's a Shoei Otani and Vladdy, at least, on there with Perez for the home run leaders. But no Wander in that box, unfortunately. No autograph either. So, Keith, uh, I'm going to call Keith the uh, the winner there, I guess. He made it a little bit better with the Wander and also the autograph. But that, that's it. There you have it. That's first edition 2022 Top Series 1. Again, you can only get those boxes now on eBay because previously you could only get them if you were a 582 Montgomery Club member. If you'd like to become a Montgomery Club Montgomery Club member at $600, and those subscriptions go on sale once a year in November. So come November, make sure you're checking Top's website every day um, if you really like to get in on that. Because honestly, I mean, right here, if you bought one box and you sold it on eBay, you, you just paid for your subscription, I guess. And then uh, also another one of the perks of the 582 Montgomery Club is you get uh, some free sets sent to you throughout the year, like the complete set and some little lost design sets. And you also get first access to some cool products like Sapphire. So that's it, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you all tomorrow for the auction. Good night, everybody.